Welcome to Guidelet. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a mini travel guide on Guidelet. A mini travel guide is a quick to read list of points of interest you recommend for a destination, usually centered around a theme or a target market. Here are recently created mini guides. This is what a mini guide looks like. You'll notice it has a cover image, followed by the list of points of interest. Each point of interest has an image, contact details like address, phone number, website, as well as a map. The essential part of a point of interest is the Why Go field. Oakland Zoo, Why Go, rated one of the best city zoos north of San Diego. So let's get started. To create a guide, you can click on Create a Guide, you'll type your destination. So I'll be creating one for London. Guy named London for beer drinkers. College students, buddies, man. That's the general target for that guy. All right, what do we recommend in the first place? So we're going to add some point of interest. What is the first place we recommend? That would be our church pub. And that's this one. One reason to go. Uh, best Guinness in all of London. Maybe. And that would be a night option. I gotta choose a website for it. The archers, okay, found the website, the Facebook page. Which photo here best represents the archer? We can scroll the archers. That's the one. And let's create the first point of interest. Our point of interest shows up over here. Let's add some other ones. If you can't remember anything, if you type in pub, you'll get all the pubs. O'Neill Pub, Comedy Pub, Shakespeare Pub is a good one. Why, rec why do you recommend? Great fish and chips. That would be a nice place to go for dinner. Let's see if we find it. Did it find the official? Yeah, sometimes if it doesn't find the official, you might as well choose the, the Facebook or Yelp or Foursquare page. This looks like the Shakespeare pub. Okay, so you go through this process adding points of interest we can add this place for instance so we don't have to just type them in uh, we can also add existing points of interest you know so why do we recommend the sanctuary pub funny karaoke on Tuesdays and we add it and here are our three points of interest so far once we're done adding points of interest, we can scroll down here and go to Happy With Your Guide, finalize it. So, London for Beer Drinkers, what is this guide all about? Three points of interest in London for Beer Drink. Let's do a, uh, a search for London Pub. An image search, that's going to be our cover image. Mm, nice, I like this very first one over here. And we can finish a guide. Guide London for Beer Drinkers finalized. That's the cover. First point of interest, second point of interest, third point of interest. Okay, so I guess we can now to finish and save your guide, create your account with, you can log in with Facebook or you can create an account manually. I like to use my Facebook because it's one click away. And I click create account. And there I am. This is my recent, most recent guide. I can check it out. Nice photo. Hmm. 
my three points of interest are mapped over here. It's a guide by me, Cristiano. I can see it as a slideshow. I'll show you that in a little bit. The three points of interest showed up over here. And here is, you know, why go? Best Guinness in all of London, maybe. Here's the Shakespeare pub, the Sanctuary pub. I can embed this guide if I want the code. If I want to put it on my site, I can just copy this over here. I can email it to, my, uh, to a friend. Um, I can also add some comments via Facebook. And the uh, five weather forecast for London shows up also over here at the bottom of the guide. Let's check out what this guide will look like in slideshow format. Oh, there it is. So I can scroll through these. And that concludes the tutorial.